Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're gonna learn how to crochet the Quick Gift Slouch Hat. This is a super fast gift, and it's part of our 12 weeks of gifting series on Fiberflux. This is a new quick gift each week, now through the end of the year. We're coming up to the end of the year, so we have some, a few more to share, and this is a great one you can coordinate with some of the other pieces in the series, like the mittens, the cowls, the scarves, etc. It's a great accessory. Uh, to give as a gift. It has a nice slouch to it, so when you wear it, it'll kind of like um, slouch a little bit at the bottom. Uh, we're going to be using some post stitches in this project to create some ribbing on the brim and these fun ridges as well. I'm going to walk you through the, the whole hat step by step. We're going to start at the bottom and work our way up. Now before we begin, I wanted to mention that this hat is part of the 12 weeks of gifting series and if you're participating in it, be sure and use the hashtag FiberFluxCal to share your work on social media. It's really fun to see what everybody's making. And also, um, if you haven't yet, join our Ravelry and Facebook groups for all of the Crochet Along makers. It's a fun place to hang out, share photos, ask questions. So without further ado, let's jump in and get started on the Quick Gift Slouch Hat. The finished hat is about nine and a half inches tall and has a 21 inch circumference. This was designed for an adult woman to wear. However, a big kid could easily get away with wearing this hat and it would fit quite nicely. It has slouch to it, so it's, it's a little bit more versatile and flexible in its sizing. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a ruler or tape measure to get those dimensions that you need. You'll need an eight millimeter L crochet hook and one skein of Super Saver Chunky by Red Heart. Now each one of these is 173 yards, and if you've joined us on the 12 weeks of gifting crochet along that this is part of, you'll notice that we've been using the Super Saver Chunky for all of the projects and with the eight millimeter hook. So if you have some yarn leftovers uh, from some of the other projects, and if you just kind of want to make it in different colors, totally fine, it comes in lots of colors. I'm going to be using the soft white. It's not like a, a white white, like a piece of paper or something like that. It's more of like a bright cream color, if I had to describe it. We are going to switch to a dark background so you can see what I'm doing because we're doing white on white. And uh, so for the tutorial part, we are going to go to a darker background. Now, if you need to substitute yarn, look for yarn on the label that recommends this 8 millimeter L crochet hook and also a five bulky on the yarn weight scale and you'll be just fine. So let's get started. So I went ahead and grabbed my dark uh, background so you can see what we're doing here with this light yarn. The first thing we need to do is put a slip knot on our hook. So let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit so you can see. What we're gonna do is wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up the loop and tighten. Next, we're going to chain 50. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the loop. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, and forty-nine, and fifty. So here is our starting chain. Now if you noticed, I made my chains not too tight. I gave them a little bit of looseness. You don't want them so loose that they look sloppy, but we need to be able to go back into the chains and work. Now some of you have asked me about your chains being too tight. If they are too tight, go up a hook size for the starting chain only. You can go back down to the eight millimeter hook later on. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we're gonna join to create the bottom of our hat. So go into the chain farthest from the hook, that very first chain we made. And another thing you need to uh, be careful about is twisting. So what I do is kind of run my thumb down along the chains like this, and then without letting go, join with a slip stitch. So, in, stitch. so insert your hook into that chain farthest from the hook. That will keep it from twisting, by the way. Wrap yarn around hook, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. Okay, so this is going to be the bottom of our hat, and we did that slip stitch join to create the opening. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we can kind of not worry about this tail right now, but what we're going to do is chain three one, two, three, and then what we're going to do is work a double crochet in each chain. So, to make a double crochet, we're going to wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into that chain, bring up a loop. 
you'll have three loops on your hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the next two loops. So then what we're gonna do for round one is just work a double crochet in every chain all the way around. So I'm just gonna work my double crochets, each one of these chains all the way around, and then we're gonna rejoin towards the end of the round and I'm going to show you how to complete the round and then how to start round two. We're going to be creating some really pretty ribbing for our hat. Okay, just working that last double crochet to that last chain. And then to close the round, what we're going to do is, remember that chain three we did at the beginning of the round? We're going to count three chains up and join with a slip stitch. So one, two, three, insert the hook, bring up a loop, bring that loop through the loop already on your hook, and round one is complete. So next we want to put some really pretty ribbing on our hat to give it like a little brim. So what we're going to do now is we're going to switch gears and do some front post double crochets. So what we want to do now is chain three, one, two, three. And then what we're going to do is if you've never done a front post double crochet, it's very similar to a regular double crochet. It's just where you um, position your hook when you begin. So let's do a few together. Wrap yarn around hook. And then in this first stitch right here, we would normally work into a stitch, but we're gonna go around this post. So the top is the stitch, and this is the post, the uh, double crochet from the previous round. So what you wanna do is wrap yarn around hook, and then we're gonna come up under the post, like that. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it back through the way you came. And now you'll just complete it like a regular double crochet. So you'll have three loops on your hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring through the first two loops, Wrap yarn around hook, bring you through the last two loops. Then what we're gonna do is work a front post double crochet into the next stitch, front post double crochet into the next stitch, and all the way around our hat, okay? So wrap yarn around hook, come up under that post, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through, yarn around hook, bring through the first two loops, yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. And we're just gonna do this all the way around our hat. And it's gonna create a lovely little ribbed effect for the brim of our hat, okay? So work your front post double crochets all the way around. And then we're gonna rejoin once again and finish up this round and move on to round three. Okay, so you can already see the ribbing that we're getting. Okay, just working that last front post double crochet of the round and then we're gonna rejoin, or join rather, uh, in the third chain up, so count one, two, three, with a slip stitch. Same thing we've been doing. And round two is complete, so you see we have some nice ribs happening on our hat. So what we're gonna do now is repeat row two that we just did, these front post double crochets, two more times. So for round three, and round four, we're gonna do the same thing. Repeat round two for rows, or rounds three and four. Okay, so do this two more times, and then we're gonna rejoin and learn how to do the main part of the hat. Okay, so I'm just working that last front post double crochet of the round. And then we're gonna join with a slip stitch in that third chain up. So count one, two, three, insert the hook in that third chain up, bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. So I just wanted to show you here that I've worked one, two, three, four rounds of our front post double crochets, and it's creating some really pretty texture. So at this point, we're gonna move on to round five, and we're gonna create some more texture, but a little bit different texture on the next section. So this is gonna create like a nice little ribbing, and then we're gonna create some other types of texture throughout our hat. So what we wanna do for round five, we're gonna work some back post double crochets this time. So what we wanna do is chain three, one, two, three, and then instead of going up under the post like we did before, we're gonna go um, from the back to the front. So wrap yarn around hook, bring it from the back, go over top of the post and back down. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it back through the way you came. You'll have three loops on your hook, Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. And that's actually the opposite of the front post double crochet. We're just going uh, around the post a different way, okay? So let's do a few more of those together. Wrap yarn around hook, 
come up under, over top, and back down. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it back through the way you came. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around the hook, bring it through the last two loops. And then we're going to just keep doing that all the way around. So as you can see, we're creating a little bit of a, of a ledge or a little um, ridge along our work. So that's going to give us some more um, interesting detailing on our hat, and a little bit of texture. Now when you have um, light yarns like this, whenever I'm working with white yarn, um, I like to work on a dark background. I mentioned this earlier, but I find that when you're going around posts and doing all these interesting different stitches, it really does help to have the dark background. So if you have a, sometimes if I'm, you know, right now I'm sitting at my work table, but if I'm sitting at home and I'm working um, like on the couch or something like that, you could even get like a dark um, throw blanket and just kind of throw it on your lap as you work and it, it'll provide you with a nice cozy dark background. Okay, so we're just working those back post double crochets. So I'm gonna continue around and then we'll rejoin in just a moment and we're gonna transition on to round six. Just coming up to that very last back post double crochet of our round and then to close the round, what we're going to do is come back to this chain. Remember this chain three we did at the beginning of the round? Count one, two, three chains up, insert your hook in that third chain up, bring up a loop, and then bring that loop through the loop already on your hook. So we just joined to close with a slip stitch, okay? So for round six, what we're going to do, this is an easy round. Once again, we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And then what we're going to do is work a double crochet into each stitch. So wrap yarn around hook, insert the hook into that first stitch you come to, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops. Now before we kind of went around the post, we're just going into that top little loop at, at the top of the stitch, okay? So let me just zoom in a little bit more for you. And we're just going to work a double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Just like that. Okay? So continue around, and then when we get to the end of that round, I'm going to show you how to move on. Just coming up to the end of round six. And we're just going to join the same way we've been joining. Count three chains up, join with a slip stitch to close the round. Okay, so to continue on, now we have some lovely texture here with our front post double crochets, some nice ribbing. We've created like our little ridge here by doing back post double crochets, and then we have a little bit of like a flat section in between. So what we wanna do is repeat rounds five and six, five and six, over and over and over, until your hat is as tall as you would like it to be. Now, the reason I'm not saying right now a specific height is because some people like their their uh, hats to be really slouchy. Some people like their hats to be a little bit more fitted and just a little bit of slouch. So I'm going to keep going with mine and I will um, tell you what I arrive at once we get to the top uh, as far as height inches. Um, but what I would recommend that you do is when you're making your hat to pop it on your head and see how uh, much slouch that you really like and how it's looking. Um, the thickness of the yarn will play out in how it drapes or how much stiffness it has, whatever you're using. And also the amount of texture we're doing will create a little bit of interest as well. So keep rep repeating rounds five and six, five and six, over and over and over again until we get to the top. We still have two little decrease rounds to do, so you want to account for those as well. Um, but they shouldn't take too much height, so um, it's not going to be a huge difference. So just keep re repeating five and six, five and six, over and over, and then we'll rejoin in just a moment. So I've been working my hat until it has a height of about eight inches. So as you can see right now, we just have a straight cylinder. So the next thing we're gonna do is do some decrease rounds and kind of bring that crown in a little bit at the top of the hat. So what we wanna do is chain three, one, two, three, same thing we've been doing. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because what we're going to do is we're going to work a double crochet two together all the way around uh, 
this round that we're going to do next. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is turn two stitches into one stitch. And we're going to do that all the way around the top of our hat. And that will start to bring it upward to create the crown. It's also going to add some height because the double crochet stitch has some height to it. Um, so it's going to continue to add height to our hat, but it's going to start to taper it inward. So what we want to do is locate that first stitch, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the first stitch, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, then what you're going to do is wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the next stitch, bring up a loop, you'll have four loops on your hook, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last loops on your hook. So we've just turned two stitches into one stitch, okay? So let's do that again. Wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the next stitch, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the next stitch, bring up a loop, wrap yarn around hook, bring through the first two loops, wrap yarn around hook, bring through the last loops that remain on your hook. Okay? So we've now turned four stitches into two stitches. So as you can see, it's starting to slope inward because we're decreasing, okay? So let's do that one more time together and then we'll continue around. Insert the hook into the next stitch, bring up a loop, bring it through the first two loops, yarn around hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, bring it through the next two loops, yarn around hook, bring it through the remaining loops. If you need to see that again, you can back up the video as many times as you need. And I'm going to continue around working my decrease all the way around our hat. And what we're going to do is do this all the way around. And then when we get towards the end of this round, we're going to rejoin. And then we're going to be able to do some finish work on our hat. We're going to complete our hat. So I'm going to keep working my decreases all the way around this round. And then we're going to rejoin and work just one more round of our hat before we finish our hat up and do some finish work after that. So continue working your decreases all the way around. And again, if you need to watch this, this part again with the decreases, just simply back up the video. You can also um, see it in slow motion. There's a setting for slow motion if you need to do that as well. So I'm going to continue working around and we'll rejoin in just a moment. Just working the last decrease of the round. And then what we're going to do is join with a slip stitch to close the round. So count up to the third chain. Remember that starting chain? Go one, two, three. Join with a slip stitch to close the round. There we go. Mine got caught up a little bit. And then our first decrease round is complete. So as you can see, our hat is starting to curve inward. Our final round that we're going to do for our hat is the same thing. We're just going to repeat that round one more time. So chain three, and I'm going to get you started on this round and we're going to continue around like we did before. So once again, work your double crochet two together all the way around. So just same exact thing we did before, okay? So around all the stitches, just work your decreases, okay? If you need to see this round in more detail, you can back up to last round where we worked it a little bit slower and in more detail. But we're just repeating the round we just worked. Okay, so just continue around with your hat. And then when we get towards the end of this round, we're going to rejoin and I'm going to show you how to finish off your hat. Just working that very last decrease of our round. And then what we're going to do is join with a slip stitch. Now your starting chain, as you can see, mine is just laying completely sideways. That's because we're decreasing and it's really pulling those stitches inward. It's going to be laying down on its side, but that's okay. Just count three chains up, join to close with a slip stitch. Might need to sort of shimmy it in there a little bit. And we're just going to join to close with a slip stitch. Now, as you can see, our hat still has a little bit of an opening, and that's okay. That's what it's supposed to be doing. What we're going to do now is cut the yarn 
um, I would give it about 12 to 18 inches and cut. And then what you want to do is fasten off and pull that long tail all the way through, okay? So our hat looks great. It has a nice uh, thickness and bulk to it. It has a nice slouch to it. Let me just zoom out so you can see everything. And we have a little bit of yarn left, so if you wanted to make your hat a little taller and work this middle section a few more times, that's okay too, but I was really happy with the height of mine. So the next thing we want to do to finish up our hat is turn your hat inside out. And you can see it looks really neat inside out as well. So you can wear it reversible um, if you want a little bit of a different look. So thread your tapestry needle. Now, as you can see, I have a large tapestry needle so that I can um, get through this chunky yarn. So all I'm going to do is run my tapestry needle, and I can zoom in a little bit for you, Run your tapestry needle sort of in and out, in and out, all the way around that top edge, just like that. And then pull through as needed, but we're just going to run the yarn just all around this top edge of our hat, okay? Until we get to where we began. and then just come all the way around here. Okay, the next thing we want to do is cinch up the top. So we're sort of making like a drawstring for our hat, okay? So we want to just give that a nice tug like that. And then I like to go into one of these little loops here and then create a loop like this and bring my needle through to create a knot. Okay, just give it a nice secure knot. And then what we want to do is that, that little cinch part at the top, I like to crisscross to weave my end in. So go across that center hole. Now it should be very small because we cinched it closed. So just, just sort of make an X across there and then weave it into those back loops like so. Now because we're working with a solid color, everything's going to blend nicely. If you worked with multiple colors, so just try to stay in the same color areas. Okay, and then you can snip your yarn. And then we have one more tail where we began. And it's um, one, I have woven this in as I went along, so it's already just sort of hanging out. If you didn't do that, you can thread it um, with your tapestry needle and just go through here. But because I wove mine in as I went along earlier in the video, um, I'm just going to snip that and then we can turn our hat right side out and then you might need to kind of straighten things but it has a nice crown on it, it has some really fun uh, ribbed uh, brim some fun little ridges along here to give it some interest and our hat is complete so we can clear things out of the way and this was a really quick hat to work up. You can make a few of these as gifts. You can coordinate the colors and make them match some of the other um, cowls, scarves, etc. in our series as well. And it sits on the hat nicely. And you can hop over to the blog to see more photos of this hat as well. Before we go, I want to mention also to use the hashtag FiberFluxCal to share your work on social media. And also, please join our Ravelry group and our Facebook groups to connect with other makers for this cowl and all the other FiberFlux cowls as well. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest FiberFlux video updates. Thanks again! Thanks.